Yes, we are very much glad to have received servant leader Tia King together with my brother here, Nate and uh, Christopher. Uh, this is a very wonderful trip. Uh, it's all about the Damasev meeting and uh, we hope, we, uh, we look forward to doing much. With me I have uh, the man of God, uh, Shadrach. Let him say something before we welcome servant leader Tia King. Yes, yeah, so we are so grateful. First and foremost, we give all the glory to God. Actually, we have really been praying and waiting to see this day manifest. The enemy tried all he could, but God has received all the glory because today we have the victory. We are at the JKIA airport. We have received the big men here, the generals. Uh, it's all about the Thomasev meeting. Yeah, so it's going to be great. And uh, we are looking forward for the incredible moments. And uh, all shall be well. What I can say to our guests, I want them to feel at home. They're going to have a great time here. And all shall be awesome. So I want just to honor my father here and give him the microphone to say something. You're welcome. I can say praise the Lord to everyone. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here finally in the motherland. Amen. To my good... Um, spokesman here who um, is the Timothy King of Africa, uh, Frank Wabwell. I'm going to get those names together. And, um, uh, revivalist Shadrach. We're all glad to be here and um, we hope to be coming back again in August. Uh, we did have some, some challenges, but the Bible didn't say we wouldn't have challenges. It just said that those things would um, not prosper. Amen. Not that the weaponry would not come, but that they would not prosper. And right now I'm going to turn it over so we can get a little bit of a musical jingle from the voice of the world himself so glad to be here so glad to be here so glad to be here in africa so glad to be here so glad to be here so glad to be here with you looks like he's gonna take the show yeah Yeah. 
kuweka mti let us clap for our daughters in come So what God was doing, he was getting all of that fancy stuff, that being excited around celebrity preachers out of me because he knew this day was going to come yeah. in my latter, latter life. Yeah. So that right now, we don't have to get all puffed up behind that. And what God is doing for us is giving us blessings. is exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask to think. Blessings so big, we got to tell him, hey, hold on. Sit down on the back. We just need a piece of it. Amen. Amen. That is the reason that we're here in your uh, nation today. Uh, we had, um, we sort of abbreviated the ministry side of it because we knew that the government had shut down and so forth, but there's a business side of it too, amen? amen? Even though this thing is a religious entity, we must understand it has a business component to it also. Right. You can be the greatest orator, the greatest celebrity preacher that the world has, and there's nobody in your audience, how great are you then? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So the people are important, and we must understand that we are here to serve God's people. Not to belittle them, not to run over them, but the people of God are just as important as the man or the woman of God. So give yourselves a hand praise for that. In addition to that, we have another huge, huge organization called Panama International, which is uh, based out of Nigeria. The man servant who's over there has been uh, sneak peeking my Facebook for about two years, and one day he just approached me and, and asked me about the movement. So he actually wants to do a joint conference with the movement in 2022. So we think that in 2022, the, the month of um, August, we'll be having that joint conference and that's going to be something really big that the world is going to feel, amen? amen. Um, I thank God for you, but if I just give you a little nugget for tonight, I want you to think of um, Romans 12, 1 and 2, where it says, Brethren, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, a, a certain way, holy and acceptable to God, which your reasonable or your expected service. That word service in modern English means the kind of duty. But if you go back and study it in biblical antiquity, you will find out that the word servant means worship. Uh, in Luke 4 and 18, the Bible says, they that worship me, that prerequisites, must worship me in spirit and in truth. And that's what we're all about, the movement, is seeking God and worshiping God that we all might become carriers of his glory. What does that mean? That means that when you or you walk into the room of God, they know that there's something different about you. What is it? It's the fact that you have made a kindred connection to God. You have become a, a conduit. Uh, do you all have uh, electrical wires in this place? Yeah. Anyway. There's a force that goes through those wires that can actually penetrate and burn up the wire if it was not made to conceal or conceive or receive the force and the flow that's going through it. You feel me? The same is true in the earth. One of the reasons that the people of God are not, re are not recognized like they used to in the world is because most of us are half living. Most of us don't know God. Most of us say we pray. And we even don't know what prayer is. Prayer is a conversation between you and God. But I bet you most of us in this room, when we pray, when we finish, in the name of Jesus, and we're up on our knees, 
How rude is that to pray or have a conversation with someone and never give the person on the other end the opportunity to speak back? Are yeah. you feeling me here? Yeah. So what we come to do is to give some nuggets that's going to make wherever we are in the Lord, we're going to make we're going to penetrate it and make it like a turbo bus. And that's what this thing is all about. Mm -hmm. Now, all of this that's been going on within the past 48 hours, I was joking with them. They, take a nap in hell. <laughs> so let me look, hear Nate sing a little bit. But this one here has been going off on me all day because things have been going on. The devil is the prince of the power of what? Air. Okay. See, the devil had legal access when he was kicked out, not for the earth and walk around like us. But the airwaves, that's his domain. That's something that God has legally given him access to. So he can really cut the food up there as long as he wants to, and he's within his order. But the thing about it, how many know what authority is? Authority is something that calls something to have to come into submission. Just a moment ago, we were going up the road, and we saw something that said police. And it had to stop by. So we had to what, submit to the authority. All right. Now, had we been a greater authority, maybe like... Um, uh, something presidential, we yeah. could have alerted the less authority to that fact and said, boys, bye bye. Yeah. But because that authority was greater than our authority, we had to respect it. The same is true when it comes to God's believer and the enemy. When we become to understand that we have a certain level of authority, we understand that the enemy cannot overcome us unless we don't utilize our authority. Oh, yeah. How many have ever seen a, a small or female policeman? Have you ever seen, you seen that suit that she's in? Yeah. Now, how many know that you could have overpowered her, really? Think about the, the, the physical anatomy. Yeah. But because of what she was representing or who was standing behind her, you had to submit to that authority. I don't care how big and how great you think <clears throat> that Satan is, your authority is greater because God of the heaven yeah. is your authority. Oh, Amen? Oh, yeah. So that's why we must understand who we are and whose we are. Amen. As I said, I'm not come to speak wrong to you. Brother Frank was right when he said, yes, we're tired, amen. Yes. Because we should have been here last night, but maybe you know something bad would have happened, I don't know. Yeah. But in whatever state that we're now found in, we're gonna be content because we know that the all-seeing God yes. knows everything, amen. Yes. My brother, I thank God for you. God has many things in store for you beyond what you even know. Amen. You have a giving spirit. Amen. You have a spirit that people sometimes think they can take over. But amen. Keep on being who you are, and God will take you where you go. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah.